The most important part of the punt is the drop, and there's several reasons for it. When you're kicking a field goal, that ball is stationary. So whether it's an extra point or a field goal and a holder's holding the ball, that ball's still. On a kickoff, the ball's on a tee, the ball's still. When you're punting, it's not like that. The ball's moving. Your body's moving, your legs are moving, your arm's moving, and you're trying to put that ball out in front of you, and so it's critical that the drop is there so that you get the right angle of the football off your foot so you can put it where you want it to go. You ask many NFL punters, college punters, what drill or what is it that they spend the most time on trying to improve? Ball is stationary. So whether it's an extra point or a field goal and a holder's holding the ball, that ball's still. On a kickoff, the ball's on a tee, the ball's still. When you're punting, it's not like that. The ball's moving. Your body's moving, your legs are moving, your arm's moving, and you're trying to put that ball out in front of you and so it's critical that the drop is there so that you get the right angle of the football off your foot so you can put it where you want it to go. You ask many NFL punters, college punters, what drill or what is it that they spend the most time on trying to improve as a punter? And 100% of them will tell you that it's the, it's the drop. So what we're looking to try and do with our punt is we're trying to get that ball out in front of us. If this is the ball perfectly straight out in front, angle straight downfield, we're gonna turn this nose of the ball, the front of the ball, just slightly in and slightly down to maximize that angle off our foot as we swing up and through the ball. We're gonna extend that ball straight out, right out here on a level plane. We want as little movement as possible. We don't want the ball moving up and down. We don't want to catch it. We don't want to bring it in close to our body. We want the ball as still as we can, starting right from here as we catch it and extending it straight out in front of us. We don't want to throw the ball up in the air. We don't want to throw it down. You think of, hear the word drop and you think of the ball coming straight down, but actually you're extending it straight out on an imaginary uh, table. It'd be like you're, you're passing the salt shaker and you're sliding it off that table. That's what you're doing with this football and sliding it off there in order for your foot to reach out there and punt the ball. So the hand position is critical with the drop. I recommend either a handshake grip coming from the side, so your thumb is on the side seam and your middle finger is on the side seam, or an underneath grip, underhand grip, where all four fingers are underneath the football and my thumb is here on top. Either way, it's just a matter of personal preference, but what we don't recommend is having your hand on top of the football so that, um, one, it's really tough to get the ball out comfortably out in front of you, and two, if there's wet conditions, that ball is going to be tough to grip. So that side grip is right here, or the underneath grip right here. But we want to make sure that ball is um, not in our palm and not too far out in our fingertips either. It's, it's kind of right in between in a comfortable spot where we can control the ball. Now that you have a better understanding of where the ball should be coming out of your hand, what level to drop it, how to drop it, and the consistency of what it takes to become a good punter, now is the time when you would go out, start hitting the ball off your foot to get that spiral, replicating that, that spiral every time to be consistent as a punter. You ask any college and NFL punter what they practice the most, there's no question, it's the drop. So you're not gonna wear your leg out by practicing the drop too much. You right down the sidelines of a field as much as you can during your downtime. You wanna spend as much time as you can dropping the football if you're gonna become a good punter. Next, we're gonna talk about receiving the snap. Worthy of this, uh, our punter heading on into the Under Armour All-American game, that first selection is Gary Wunderlich. Let's give Gary a hand. Good job. There's three 2014 punters that have a chance to take home that second spot. Okay, if anybody watched our last couple punts, you saw this guy hit the, hit the biggest